Is verbal communication falling apart? Nowadays, everyone is stuck behind their phones and not actually communicating with one another. And when we are, what are we doing? We're sending memes, jokes, we're just texting, sending emojis. But is this real communication? Conversation is something that entices us. It adds so much different chemicals into the brain than what we get behind our phone. Conversations are aware of sharing information. It actually starts creating and triggering different things inside of our brain and is way different than even if we FaceTime someone or we talk to someone. When you're in real life talking and interacting with people, it has the power to boost the brain and increasing neurotransmitters. Because again, it is such a human thing to do is to talk to one another. When these nerve pathways are being created, it's not just changing the way we feel right in the moment, but it can also change how we are for a lifetime. All those feel good conversations you have with people are creating things like oxytocin, serotonin, and dopamine into the brain that again is a natural form of it, not the kind that you're getting from playing video games, for example, or just looking at a screen. Again, it's a different level of chemistry that's rewiring your brain. And those higher level conversations are feeding oxytocin, endorphins, and dopamine into your brain. And this is gonna allow you to feel so good and improve your mental health and well-being. Nowadays, when we actually communicate to someone and we are interacting with someone, a lot of the times it tends to be through text or email. And again, it's a lot of words or we're typing them out but we're not handwriting these letters. We're not taking the time to actually express our emotions properly. Again, it is a lost art nowadays because people don't talk the way they used to. People are kind of living in their hyper-individualistic world. Everyone kind of does their own thing. And this is a problem because we're humans. We're human beings. We have to interact with people because isolation is happening and it's on the rise. We are lonelier and lonelier than ever. And that is a huge problem. And we're lonely because again, we're not focused on the communications. We're not focused on relationship building. When we go outside in public and we're actually interacting and talking to people, everyone kind of is living in their little own orb in their own little bubble. They move through their life that way. Make sure you're stopping around, talking to people, interacting with people. Because again, it's going to make you feel better. It's going to make the people around you feel better. You're going to actually improve your mental health and well-being. A lot of the times people say like, oh, I'm sad, I'm depressed. But again, the reason as to why it's happening is because we're not putting ourselves out there to actually communicate with one another. Because again, communicating is a fundamental building block to our brain health. It is so important. Loneliness epidemic is here. It is 100% here. But we need to understand that what we see behind the phone, that's not real life. Whether you are talking to real people, you can affect people behind the phone. Yes, that's absolute. But make sure you're going out of your way to interact with people. Use the phone to get you to meet more people, to find networking events, to find places that you're welcome, to find different groups and circles that you want to be a part of. But again, remember to go out of your way to have these conversations with people that are in your circle and outside of your circle. Because again, to have a high level of verbal communication, now it's seen as a soft skill when you go to apply to jobs. Oh, I have, I've been working on my soft skills. I'm very good at oral communicator. But everyone should be able to communicate orally. Everyone should be able to be verbally expressive and talk about things, express their emotions properly. Because again, that creates a healthy atmosphere for everyone around you. Even when it comes down to like content creation and videos and what we see on the internet, we're just constantly scrolling, looking at pictures, pictures, videos, pictures, videos. And sometimes people are talking, sometimes people are not but you're not getting a response back every time. So again, you're just sitting there soaking up information, soaking up information, seeing pictures, 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 pictures and words, pictures and words. But again, you have to actually have a conversation. How often do people say like, oh, I see what they're doing. I know what they're up to. They posted this, they posted that. But you didn't actually have a conversation with that person. So you honestly know nothing about what's really going on in their life unless you talk to them. Maybe people are just spewing out how they feel all over the internet, and that happens all the time. But again, at the end of the day, having that conversation allows you to build a relationship with them. So yeah, you might know what's going on, you might see what's going on, but only what they are showing you. So again, make sure you go out of your way to communicate with people. Look at your following list, people that you follow, people that you don't follow. Look at the people that you go after conversation with. Why are you sliding up on their story? Why are you communicating with them? Make sure you're actually talking to your friends, people that you say are your friends. And if you're not actually talking to them all the time, I'm not saying every day you have to hit up a friend, right? Every month or every year even. You can have people who you don't talk to for a year and it's like nothing switched up. You pick up where you left off. But again, make an active effort to communicate with those around you. Because again, life is short. Make sure you take time to give people those verbal communications. Because again, it's so important and it's becoming lost in our society that we're not actually communicating with one another properly. And even when we think about social media, yeah, in 140 characters or 180 characters, we're able to really express how we feel. Probably not, right? We have so much more we have to say. So maybe you know a small brief thing that we're talking about, but it's not fully what we're supposed to be on. You get such a small amount of energy and time. We can talk and have a conversation and get so much more done than texting back and forth, back and forth. So communicating, talking, it's so important and do not let it become a lost art in your life. Even when it comes down to the art of storytelling, storytelling is such an elite skill now and everyone says, oh, you wanna be successful? Be a great storyteller. 
And again, think about how many cultures and things pass generation to generation from storytelling. Obviously, we'll use maybe social media and recordings of things to be our storytelling. But again, there's something about when you see in movies or films or different shows where it's they're around the fire telling stories, where everyone's talking about what's going on. Everyone goes around, meets together, and has an interaction about their week, their day. It's important. And that's even why, people, for example, family time, eating at dinner, talking about your day at school. That's also so important. It's important for our development in our brains. And it's actually good for our well-being. And like we said in the beginning, it creates lifelong neurotransmitter receptors that increase these feel-good chemicals in your brain. It rewires your brain to be more social. It rewires your brain to be more adaptive to your environment. And again, we have to think about this because of the mental health crisis we're going through, the isolation crisis we're going through. So again, if you watch this video, you see this, go reach out to someone, have a conversation, try to meet up, go on a walk, do anything you can to increase your verbal communication. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And in the comments down below, let me know what you think. Because again, I see this as someone who loves talking to people. And I noticed that more and more people are having trouble communicating with one another. But it's so important because it's going to make you feel better by yourself. You're going to be able to communicate your emotions, your feelings with people. So again, really go out of your way to talk to one another. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I do really appreciate it. And I'll be sure to see you guys next week. See you later.